Hello. All right. Not too bad. How are you? Hey. Yeah, I bet. Another That's really long chat. Cardigan as well. That was wrong, wasn't it? Crazy to have a cardigan on a day like today. Actually, yeah. What was I thinking? Um, Dan Mazer, thanks for talking to us briefly. Um, Delightful. You've actually just kind of uh, given us a full talk about everything. It so really, comprehensive, didn't it? It really did, actually. Yeah, and good, haven't spoken that long for many, many years. Did you enjoy it? Like a university vibe. Actually, I enjoyed it much more than I thought I was going to. I dread these sorts of things uh, and feel terrible pressure to be entertaining and funny. Um, uh, but it didn't seem to matter that I was neither in this yeah, particular occasion. Um, Dan, why don't you tell us how you got your, uh, your start in the industry? Um, well, I'm sort of relatively atypical, I would say, and um, I probably would never have done this sort of thing and come to this kind of thing and and, and fell into um, writing comedy without any real ambition, drive, focus, or diligence. Um, so um, you're already, uh, you know, many steps. It, it strikes me as both uh, vaguely terrifying that there are this many people who wish to be comedy writers and uh, certainly surprising that uh, there are this many people. So I'm, uh, uh, I gave some deliberately bad advice at various different points in this evening in order to put people on the scent. I sort of fell into comedy writing and didn't ever really see it as a career and I thought people who are comedy writers must be in some way kind of hallowed and special and unique and uh, different from myself. So uh, being somewhere like this and seeing that everybody is um, ordinary almost to the extreme um, is, uh, is, is very edifying to see. So it's a, you know, it's a good thing. Well, I, I, could only, I could and can only write comedy. I couldn't write anything straight and, and whatever, because I've always, you know, I've always, I mean, it sounds, it sounds terrible to say I've always been a joker because one hates people who say they've always been a joker. But, you know, I was always, you know, I was always funny at school and, you know, funny one of my friends and all that sort of thing. So, you know, I, I, my dad was really funny and, I, you know, I've sort of, you know, my sense of humour is my developed muscle as opposed to my empathy, sympathy, <laughs> kindness, charity, um, general good personness. Um, so, uh, and then what I would say in terms of, how, you know, can I teach you how to do it? I'd go back to, you know, one of the first things that I said, which is, it's a, it's a sort of, it's a hard fact that lots of people in this room won't be very funny. You all think you're funny, but some of you unfortunately won't. That's right, I literally when the internet came out at night, I was like, so like, I don't believe this internet thing. It's just like CB radio. I'm not going to sign up for that. But slowly I'm coming around to believe it might be here to stay. And, and, and do you have respect for that then, in that, in that context? No, no, I, don't, I think actually, I think the internet is an amazing resource for, for comedy writers and comedy people because, uh, you know, previously you'd have to find somebody else to support your views, put money into it, to give you a forum, and you can just go out, shoot something one day, edit it on your computer and have it out, and, you know, the next week 10 million people can be watching it. So, um, you know, I think it's an incredibly valuable and brilliant resource for comedy people. That's it. That was a really concise and answer, Dan. And I've wasted it. I'm here wasting that resource. We've Will you ever? Do you think you'll ever move in the web space and start doing something? To be honest, if they pay me enough money, I'll go anywhere. <laughs> I'll, say, I'll do cruise ships. I'll do butlins. I don't give a shit. We've done them. Yeah, exactly. No, you know, I think you know. I think in 20 years' time, TV and film probably won't exist, and everything will be online. So um, I'll have no choice. I'll have, have to, to do a viral. I'll have to fucking cow tow to your type. You're dragging us all down. The brilliant thing about writing, as I said before, is that all it requires is you and a keyboard. So there's no excuse not to do it effectively. So I would say keep going, keep persevering, and get it out there. Find a way somehow to get it out there, because honestly, writing a script, sticking it on somebody's desk, is a 0.01% chance of success. So whatever else you can do to get your voice heard, whether it's, you know, whether it's, if it's not a 104-way script and it is a short or it is a, you know, a one-minute short or it is a viral thing or whatever, just get your voice, your vision, your thoughts out there somewhere. Thanks so much for talking to us. Very nice to meet you. Excellent. Thank you. Cheers.